Hey guys, it's NuKid from NuKid.com and this is the Infinix Hot 6 Pro unboxing and my first impressions. Before we begin, kindly hit that red button down below to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when the next video drops. When you open the box, you're greeted with the smartphone. We have the magic gold color. Let me go ahead and peel off the sticker on the back and the front and power it on while we see what else is in the box. You have some user guide, a 1.2 amp charger, a micro USB cable, a smoky transparent gel case, earphones, a warranty card, a film screen protector, and a SIM ejector tool. On the front of the device, you have a 6 inch HD plus IPS LCD with 720 by 1440 pixels using 18 by 9 aspect ratio. On top of the display, you have a 5 megapixel fixed focus lens with flash, a speaker, and an RGB notification LED. On the back, you have a 13 megapixel autofocus lens and a 2 megapixel fixed focus lens with dual flash. You also get a fingerprint sensor at the back. On the left, you have a SIM tray that houses two 4G LTE ready nano SIMs and an SD card. On the right, you have a power button and volume rocker. On the bottom, you have the speaker, the micro USB port, a microphone, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the top, you have nothing. Setting it up was a breeze. If you're familiar with Android OS setup page, this one is no different. The Hot 6 Pro uses a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor clocked at 1.4 GHz and Adreno 308 GPU. This unit has 16GB of storage and 2GB of RAM, but you only get about half the storage available. There's also a 32GB storage variant with 3GB of RAM coming also. It runs on Android 8.0 Oreo with XOS version 3.2 UI slapped on it. It is powered by a 4000mAh battery which which Infinix says would give you 48 hours of talk time on 2G network. About the design, Infinix has now ditched that textured back that was majorly used to identify the HOT series. They also ditched the dual 3D speakers on the front of the HOT 5. Now we have reduced bezels and rounded corners on the screen which I personally prefer. Infinix has gone with a smooth plastic back with subtle contours around the top and bottom. Also, dual camera setup which makes it look more mid-range than low-end. I like the fact that the red variant comes with a black face too. It feels relatively light as the weight is evenly distributed. On the software side, you now have Face ID. I did a tutorial on how to set that up. I'll be leaving the link above. While testing it out, I noticed it worked faster than on the Hot S3. In your quick settings, you have eye care, which is adjustable for all your night reading. You get one hand mode for one hand use. I have medium sized hands, so I won't be needing this one. Now there's a new game mode, which blocks all visual notification from popping on your screen when it's turned on while you're gaming. You also get your usual themes and there are lots to choose from. The camera of the Hot 6 Pro has some improvements as well. You now get a portrait mode which uses the dual back lens and a blur mode on the front camera which uses software. You also get panorama, night mode, time lapse, professional mode which seems like an overkill for this price point. From the sample photos I took, pictures came out looking pretty decent and portrait mode looked even better than I expected. See a side by side picture. The selfie blur feature however doesn't entirely blur out the background, it may need a software tweak here and there. The Infinix Hot 6 Pro is a worthy upgrade from the Hot 5. Not only do you get a larger 18x9 display with reduced bezels, you also get a better dual camera setup, a CPU and software upgrade. There's more to come in my full review. The Infinix Hot 6 Pro is priced at 46,800 Naira which translates to 130 US dollars. Thanks for watching and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you wish to see what I'm up to. Also let me know which devices you would like me to compare it with in the comment section down below. Till next time guys, peace.